yoga classes that were uh, um, booked for civil servants. Um, uh, suntan lotion was bought. Black pudding was bought um, uh, on the on the government credit card. I struggle to condemn that, to be honest with you, Kieran. But... <laughs> um, but but also, I mean, suntan lotion in Scotland is bulk. I mean, I'm, I, mm. I know you're back in the black pudding there, but the, the suntan lotion is, a, is an interesting choice. Um, but uh, also a load of books and. Uh, including copies of collected speeches by Nicola Sturgeon and, most bizarrely probably, uh, a copy of the Scottish Government's 2014 white paper um, on independence, which I would have thought they might have had a they few boxes of uh, lying around. Yeah, a, a few boxes of those lying around. Let's head to Scotland, where Nicola Sturgeon is back under the spotlight today as a data dump reveals that the former First Minister used public money to get royal treatment at airports and pay for yoga classes. Kieran Andrews, the Scottish political editor for The Times, has the story. Hello, Kieran. Hey, Patrick. Uh, what do we know then about Sturgeon's spending while First Minister? What, what are the top lines of this massive dump of data? So this is spending by the Scottish Government as a whole under Nicola Sturgeon's um, time as First Minister. As you said, the, the kind of top line that's come from this is the spending on VIP upgrades um, for Nicola Sturgeon when she was uh, travelling both to London from Edinburgh but also abroad on uh, First Ministerial duties. Uh, previous First Ministers have, as you would expect, had um, a special arrangement in place, which would see them uh, skip queues and be met by airport staff. But uh, we understand that the the use of VIP lounges is a new trait. We also saw some really, in some ways, they look like frivolous spends or the, the kind of thing that um, may not uh, or does not an, amount to an awful lot of money, but does kind of stick in people's minds. You mentioned yoga classes that were... Uh, um, booked for civil servants. Um, uh, suntan lotion was bought. Black pudding was bought um, uh, on the on the government credit card. I struggle to condemn that, to be honest with you, Kieran. But... <laughs> um, but but also, I mean, suntan lotion in Scotland is bulk. I mean, I'm, I, mm. I know you're back in the black pudding there, but the, the suntan lotion is, a, is an interesting choice. Um, but uh, also a load of books and. Uh, including copies of collected speeches by Nicola Sturgeon and, most bizarrely probably, uh, a copy of the Scottish Government's 2014 white paper um, on independence, which I would have thought they might have had a they few boxes have, of uh, lying around. Yeah, a, a few boxes of those lying around. Um, another story you have uh, in the paper, or rather another story that this is the backdrop to, is the ongoing police investigation into Nicola Sturgeon, Peter Murrell, Colin Beatty, and the SNP's finances, as distinct from the Scottish government they ran. Where are we at with that? Yeah, so as you say, it's important to stress these are very separate um, investigations, uh, or sorry, very separate uh, accounts of money. There's no investigation of the Scottish government's spending as opposed to the SNP. We're, we are in a, in a waiting game. Of course, a lot of angst among senior SNP figures who are waiting to see the outcome of of this investigation, the the, the last uh, the last check, the police had not submitted a report to the Crown Office recommending any prosecution um, at this stage. Basically, at that point, that just means the police still haven't decided what they're doing, haven't entirely finished their investigation. But it means that this this uh, probe which has sucked up so much oxygen in Scottish politics which has hung over the SNP and really helped just chip away at the party in the polls. We've seen them decline steadily and ultimately significantly so far albeit still the most popular party in Scotland um, over the last few months as we've spoken about a few times and what is definitely wanted from senior people in the in the SNP is a resolution one mm. way or another because then at least they'll know what they're dealing with and can try and figure out how to deal with whatever that is. Well, thanks for the update, Kieran, and for bringing us the latest on the other big story 
uh, Nicola Sturgeon back under the spotlight separately as Kieran was stressing from the police investigation into the SNP. A data dump revealing that the former First Minister and the Scottish Government used public money to get royal treatment at airports and pay for yoga classes for civil servants. Uh, you can read all of the details on the Times website. Just go to the Times.co.uk and head to our Scotland section.